everyone to our second video on algebra today i have uh, my daughter natalie here with me to help me uh, hi natalie hi so uh, today we're going to learn what is a variable so natalie what is a variable to you it's a mystery number in an equation a mystery number in an equation that's right so um, remember that we've talked about equations in the previous video and equations are uh, true statements about numbers such as 3 times 4 equals 12 or 3 times 4 plus 2 times 4 equals 20. That's 12 plus 8 equals 20. But sometimes equations have unknown quantities, mystery numbers, something like, for example, 3 times um, something equals 12. And uh, this something that we don't know about, that is our mystery number, and that is a variable. So remember, though, that uh, we, we, we learned that algebra means the art of balancing equations. So our job is to find what numbers fit in these boxes to balance the equations, so to find uh, these numbers that will make equations true. For example, uh, and uh, those those numbers that we need to find, those are the variables. And we usually write them like, so we write them with a big X, like 3X equals 12, or uh, 5 plus Y equals 7. And uh, our task is to find out what is the value of x or what is the value of 7. Uh, we usually write variables as x or y, sometimes as z or a t, or sometimes even uh, as uh, some Greek letters like alpha and beta, if you want to learn about the Greek alphabet. And uh, so let's, let's get started with some equation and try to figure out some uh, some values of some variables. So for example, we have 5 plus x equals 7. So Natalie, what is the value of x? 2. Yeah, exactly. So here, x is 2. And Natalie, how, how did you know that x was 2 here? I looked for a number that added to 5 gives me 7. Uh-huh. So you looked for a number that added to 5 gave you 7 and that number is 2 so that is a solution to our equation because that makes the equation true 5 plus 2 equals 7 but remember that numbers count things and equations represent truths about uh, numbers and we can represent those so we can uh, think of uh, groups of objects of elements and uh, represent our equations according to those groups. So here is a group of uh, seven watermelons. So the total of the watermelons is seven. And if we want to find out what is the number that we need to add to five to get to seven, we can represent the group of five, say like this group, and then, so this has five elements, and then we need to find uh, how many more watermelons we need to get to seven. And that would be these two watermelons. Okay, so that is uh, the equation seven equals five plus two. <laughs> Another way to, uh, to look at this is that x, our number x, our mystery number x, was uh, the number 7 minus 5, because we already had 7, we subtracted 5 watermelons, and that gave us our mystery number which was two, okay? So that's one way to solve uh, the equation and find what x is. Okay, let's look at another example. Uh, for example, let's look at four times x equals 20. So in this case, Natalie, how much would be x? 
five. Five. And how do you know that x is five in this case? That's one of the math facts I need to know. That's a math fact. Yeah. So there are some times that you need to know some of these facts very quickly. So you might just look at this equation and say five works. But why does five work? Five work in this case. Well, you can look at, again, uh, the counting problem. So here is uh, a total of 20 cards. And uh, we have to figure out, we are looking for a value of x such that 4 times x gives me 20. And remember that multiplying by 4, so what this is saying is that x is um, how many elements will there be? If I try to divide these 20 cards in four groups, how many numbers, how many cards will there be per group? And uh, well, we can do that. We can take uh, four groups like this. There are four rows. So those are four groups uh, of cards. And then in each group, we see that there are five cards. So uh, what that tells me then is that x equals five should work. And um, by the way, another way to look at this is that x is uh, the number that happens when I try to divide 20 in four groups. If I try to divide 20 in four groups, each group has five elements, and that is where five comes from. So that is a way to uh, solve that equation we had of uh, 20 equals 4 times x. We just solved uh, the equation by looking at a group of 20 elements and figure out what that equation meant. And that's how we figure out what 5 was. Okay, so that's, uh, that's all for today. Bye-bye.